Now at five, Governor Mike DeWine addressing new state support for the city of Springfield. There, there's been an influx recently of migrants arriving there in Clark County, and with that influx, rumors have spread online that migrants are causing harm to pets and even animals. Springfield officials say there's no evidence to back up those claims being shared by Ohio Senator J.D. Vance and others. Now the governor is committing $2.5 million in support for migrants. The money would go directly to those in Springfield over the next two years. 10 TV's Carla Rogner is live at the Department of Public Safety where we just heard the governor's announcement. Carla? Yeah, the governor would not answer any questions about those rumors circulating online that the Haitian migrants in Springfield are stealing pets and eating them. Instead, he said he'd rather talk about the aid he's sending to the city to help them deal with this influx of migrants. He says over the last two years, 15,000 migrants have arrived in Springfield and the unprecedented surge is causing a strain on city resources. He says more migrant children are enrolling in local schools and need to learn English. The governor also directed Ohio State Highway Patrol troopers to assist local police with traffic issues. He committed $2.5 million in funding for health care. He says many of the migrants have never had adequate health care and are in need of vaccines. DeWine says many of the migrants are working in Springfield and have temporary protected status as refugees due to the violence in Haiti. He says Ohio needs the help of the federal government too. I'm not against this program. I'm not against this program. What I do say though is that with this program there has to be a plan. And there has to be a plan to take to prevent situations like we're seeing in Springfield. Yeah, and Governor DeWine says this is not a new issue and aid for Springfield actually began months ago. He says that other Ohio cities are also starting to see an influx of Haitian migrants, including Lima and Finley. Live in Columbus, Carla Rogner, 10 TV News. Carla, thanks so much. We also wanted to check into the vice president's stance on immigration claims online from Vice President Kamala Harris has flip flopped on her opinions on the border. According to past statements from Harris and multiple bills, she's never expressed support for border wall or construction, as those claims say. What she did say is that she would sign a proposed bipartisan bill that former President Trump opposed. As president, I will bring back the bipartisan border security bill that he killed and I will sign it into law. The bill would allow the government to continue spending money allocated during the Trump administration on wall construction and fund many other immigration issues such as more Border Patrol agents and immigration judges. It would not allocate more money for the wall.